So Ravens content is back in this channel. It's been a while I've not made a video about the Ravens in this channel. It's been a few weeks in the season. Uh, had had a lot of trouble even uploading in general, honestly. But yeah, man. Now that we're back, so announced not even an hour ago. By the time I'm recording, the Ravens have hired a new defensive coordinator in Mike McDonald. Familiar guy as well, familiar face. Uh, do I count it as an outside hire? Semi, you know, like, kind of, but, you know, he's a familiar face. So, at the same time, no, at the same time, yes. But yeah, man, so, we hired him almost a week it's gonna be a week Friday tomorrow but it's been it's been about a week that we fired wink Martin Martindale surprisingly I was very 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 shocked of this hire uh, of this firing you know uh, but it, it had its reasons it had its reasons you know we were his schemes his philosophical approach to the game different than what we really want to do right now so yeah man honestly I, I I think he fits very well for this defense and uh, I'm pretty sure he runs a 4-3 on I think he runs a 4-3 because this team this defense would be very very good with a 4-3 very very good uh you know the pieces we have are are you know more suited to run a 4-3 uh yeah patrick queen i think he can thrive as a 4-3 weak side backer uh he, he has a speed athleticism for that role matty buque he could thrive in the 4-3 tech as a 4-3 Three tech D tackle. Odafe away. He would. He he would probably be an excellent an excellent weak side defensive end in the four three, with his hand in the dirt. Ty's Bowser. He could be used like a guy like a Micah Parsons ish. You know. Uh, a four three outside linebacker. Could could work. Chuck Clark is a good fit for a 4-3. And he could be a safety as well as a rover type outside linebacker if needed be. So, you know, he I'm pretty sure he runs a 4-3. And uh, the pieces in our defense, the young pieces, are suited for a 4-3. So, honestly, I'm very happy with this hire. I'm very, very happy with this hire. And, honestly, it, it's sad that Wink is gone. You know, he, he was a good defensive coordinator. You know, he, he, was good at, he was a good defensive coordinator. But he was very, very exposed. He was extremely exposed this past season with his scheming. It's not bad, you know. It, it doesn't get exposed on live TV by freaking Joe Buck, or or, or or you have analysts making videos full full analysis on them. No, you know, like thing is, it was very coverage dependent, extremely coverage dependent. It and it showed with no Peters or Humphrey. If you don't have any elite corners, you're bad things are gonna happen to this defense, to your defense. So also that uh, our pass, our, our guys wouldn't wouldn't get a lot of sacks, you know, like they would drop in coverage a lot. Like no, let Odafe eat, let Odafe eat. Like bro, come on. But yeah, he wasn't bad. He wasn't a bad defensive coordinator. I I'm just shocked that it happened that way. Especially expecting, especially him dealing with a shit ton of injuries and I thought Harbaugh would give 
all our coordinators in the in the past and, and, and honestly i was extremely worried I was, I was extremely worried he was going to because a guy like greg roman does not deserve the injury pass at all so yeah honestly wink the reason we were bad pass defense it's it's, it's not it's not necessarily his fault because we were very very decimated at corner but honestly i i think changes changes need to be done I, I i thought changes needed to be done with this defense and and try to get our guys to have more sacks and, and get more production honestly you know so that's pretty much it so what's next what's next uh I, I'm, I'm gonna say i'm gonna say what's next in a few but one last word on the on this defensive coordinator Honestly, we can literally be a top five defense next year with this coordinator. And I predicted that last preseason, but everybody got injured. And so, you know, you can't say I was very, very, I really flopped because we were number one in run defense. Let's not forget about that, too. But everybody got injured. But next year, we have the potential to be a top five defense. Especially with the pieces we're going to add. I really hope we invest in corner. Especially considering that we're going to be facing a bunch of elite receivers in the coming years. Uh, you have the trio in Cincy. Uh, Boyd, Higgins, Chase. In Pittsburgh, they have a decent duo right there. Juju's probably going to leave. Uh, Claypool and Deontay. Uh, and, and you have the Browns. Your Donovan Peoples-Jones is not bad. And they might... And they could potentially get a... A Garrett Wilson, Chris Olave, Drake London. Uh, a very good receiver. It's a very good receiver class. They're going to draft a receiver, most likely, with, with their pick. So... You know, I I trust in EDC to actually look at this position and just invest, invest the most. It, it's going to be our biggest need. It's going to be our biggest need because we have we have Averett who's going to leave. Jimmy Smith might, might retire. Tavon Young, he's like could like he could come back. The only corner who's guaranteed to come back next year is Marlon Humphrey. That's it. Marcus Peters. I don't think we cut him, but you still have a possibility. We could save 10 mil with him. With we can we can get 10 mil off the books with him getting cut. So we, you know, uh, I trust in EDC to just invest in that position. But yeah, man, what's next for the Ravens? We're gonna need to just get Greg Roman out of here. And then we search for our next offensive coordinator. And one, because it's it's not fair. It's not fair that, you know, uh, <laughs> Wink does not, he does not get a pass, but Greg Woman does. So that is one thing. And two, he was worse. He was worse. And honestly, I think, this offense had, has outgrown Greg Roman vastly. But that's a conversation for another video. I'm going to make another... I'm, I'm going to be more detailed into things on what's next. But that's a little, uh, you know, uh, small thoughts, you know. So, yeah. So, Mike McDonald, new Ravens defensive coordinator. I'm happy with the hire. I'm fully happy with the hire so yeah hope you're new to the video subscribe if you're new click the like button comment down below your thoughts down below on the hire and see you guys in the next one